If you want to be a more creative, faster, more musical drummer, then you need to work on your technique. And the best way to do that is through rudiments. Today, I'm going to show you my five favorite rudiments to work on your technique so you can be a better drummer on the kit. What's happening drummers? Welcome into today's lesson. My name is Dave Major from davemajormusic.com and if you're brand new here, thank you so much for checking out this video. Like you're taking your time to watch this. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it educational. And if you do like it, remember hit subscribe, hit like and hit that share button because it helps grow the channel. Today we are talking about technique and specifically my five favorite rudiments to develop your technique so that you're a better drummer on the kit not on the practice pad. Because it can be really easy as a drummer to get bogged down in technical exercises and practicing exercises and never transplant them to the kit. As well as showing you my five favorite rudiments, I'm gonna explain what they do for your drumming and I'm gonna give you a little exercise to work on each of them that isn't just sitting and playing the rudiment. So let's start with our first rudiment, which is the single stroke roll. Single stroke roll is the most common rudiment you will play on the drum set. It works in grooves, it works at fills, and it works at so many different tempos that you just kind of need to get it together as a drummer. Now you could just practice all of these rudiments sort of five minutes a day, just boom, 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 getting faster and faster. But I'm gonna show you exercises that'll develop different aspects of them. So this one is really simple and it's gonna develop your sort of top end speed. So we're gonna be working at our maximum speed with this one. We're gonna do four eighth notes on the right hand, four eighth notes on the left hand, and then a full bar of 16th notes as right lead singles. So that sounds like this. Nice and simple. Now what I'll do is I'll demonstrate it a little bit faster and you can look at my hands and the sort of motions and try to copy. Here we go. Woo. Our second room today is gonna to be the double stroke roll. Singles into doubles seems logical. What a double teaches you is the ability to play two consecutive notes on the same hand quite fast and soft. That's the key here, it's gotta be soft. And that makes them great for shuffles, for chops, for fills, for ghost notes, for so many little things, little intricate details, instead of just having this sort of battering ram of a single stroke roll. Now the exercise for doubles is gonna work on our evenness of hands and make sure that the right is the same as the left and that adding the right and the left doesn't make everything fall apart. So we start with a bar of singles as eighth notes. Then we diddle each right hand, and then diddle the lefts, and finally diddle everything so you get a full clean double stroke roll. Now let's try that a little bit faster, see how we sound. You wanna make sure that you're not having this. Make sure it's nice and even. And there's four of the same notes when you're playing your doubles. Rudiment number three is going to be my absolute favorite and that is the paradiddle. Now the paradiddle is an amazing rudiment. I've actually done a lesson which I will link up here all about the way that the paradiddle, sort of a deeper dive into the paradiddle on this subject of technique. However, the paradiddle teaches you so many amazing things. The main thing is this accent tap control. Hitting an accent with one hand, keeping that stick low, and then playing soft notes afterwards on the same hand without tensing up or bouncing too high. That is effectively all of drumming because drumming is dynamics. Drumming is dynamics, drumming is dynamics. So a paradiddle on its root form is gonna teach you that. But what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna move the accent to challenge our hands a little bit. Super basic exercise, it's been done before, but it is incredible for your hands. So we're gonna take a paradiddle and we're gonna play it with an accent on the first position. I'm gonna to shift to the second one. Third. And fourth. Really simple, try and count through it or try and like keep the quarter note on your left foot. You can even just say para diddle and accent each little bit. Let's try it a little bit faster and see how it sounds. Okay. 
Okay, rudiment number four today is a classic drum set rudiment, and that is the six stroke roll. The six stroke roll is an amazing triplet rudiment because it just flows so nicely in the hands. It will teach you how to be nice and loose. And we have two notes right next to each other, which are accented singles. And that way we can really sort of hone in on that equal accent idea of making sure our accents are equal between a right and a left. That's gonna improve your fills. It's also gonna improve your backbeat. If you have to switch between a right hand backbeat and a left hand backbeat, it's gonna make them the same. And then the music is groovy and people wanna dance. So a six stroke roll, if you don't know, is six notes long. We've got an accent at the start with the right hand, followed by two lefts, left, left, followed by two soft rights, right, right, and then an accented left. So you get this. The exercise we're gonna do is we're gonna start playing around with those accents, similar to the paradiddle thing, but we're gonna start taking them away. So we're gonna play one bar, which is four six stroke rolls with no accents. Then one. Then the next one. What this does is it helps you even out the sticking and not rely on the accents. And we'll make you a better musical drummer because you have more options. Let's try that a little bit faster. Now all these exercises and ideas are taken from my rudimental practice process over on davemajormusic.com. I've left a link in the description if you wanna go check it out. It's effectively a seven step guide to really properly practicing rudiments and you can apply it to absolutely any rudiment, including ones that you just create yourself. The final rudiment today is gonna to be the flam tap and this is gonna be a bit of a burn for our hands. Now the flam tap is effectively a double stroke roll and then you accent the first of each double and then turn that accent into a flam. Now what that's doing is it's adding an extra note. Any flam rudiment just adds an extra hidden note. So if I take my right hand and I'm gonna play it on this little nubbin over here, you'll hear that there's three notes coming out on my right hand and three on my left, even though it sounds like two when I play them on the same surface. Add to the fact that we've got an accent followed by two soft notes and the flam tap is a killer rudiment for developing your controlled bounce strokes, your sort of a molary kind of idea as well as developing your raw speed because there's three notes. If you can play three, two, such as doubles, paradiddles, six stroke rolls are gonna be significantly easier for you and therefore sound better when you're playing on the kit. The exercise for the flam taps is a subdivision based one. So we're gonna jump between two different subdivisions. So they're gonna be eighth notes and eighth note triplets. We're gonna do two bars of eighth notes into two bars of eighth note triplets, but the flam tap, the sticking does not change. It's still all flam taps. Check it out nice and slow and see how it sounds. Three and four and. Two, triplets now. Eights. And we'll try it a little bit faster, which is where it's gonna to start to burn. That sounds like this. That's five rudiments that I think are gonna develop the key parts of your hand technique. But every single rudiment, every single thing you practice will make you better. You will never get worse by practicing. So make sure you go practice this stuff. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, remember hit subscribe, hit the like button and follow through to davemajormusic.com if you wanna check out some more of my courses where we go a little bit deeper with stuff like this. Till next time guys, I will see you very soon. Happy drumming.